Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add some animated snowflakes to your desktop uh, using a free program. So this program is called Desktop Snow OK. You can download it from their website. It's just uh, executable. So once you unzip it, you'll have these two files here. You just need to double click this one to run it. Uh, we didn't find any viruses or anything in it, but of course, as always, when you download stuff from the internet, use at your own risk. Okay, so we have this nice wintry holiday background here, so we want to add some snowflakes to it. So all you have to do is just, like I said, double click it, and it'll automatically start running. And you have several options here, so if you want to change like your number of flakes, the transparency of the flakes, the speed, uh, there's different patterns here. So you even have some other items like balls, which I don't really understand, but if you like these kind of things, maybe more for the spring, you could have flowers and so on, but we're talking about flakes right now. You could even do like kind of snowballs. And even more transparent. Okay, and then you could also adjust the size of them too. So if you want a little bigger, if you want the algorithm, if you want it to be falling down or more of like a blowing up type of animation. Uh, rotation enable and disable. The random size, you know, plus or minus 25%. And then here's the uh, deactivation. So let's say you only want them going when you're not touching your mouse. You could have it on mouse events. So if you touch the mouse, it's going to stop. And then five seconds later, it'll come back on. And then you could do it for pressing a key or a key or a mouse. Then you have your performance, you know, how much... Uh, CPU time, so if you have an older, slower computer, you could put it on CPU gentle, otherwise balance should be just fine. Or if you want you know, the best snow experience, you could put it on that. And then you could uh, activate or deactivate it just by doing that. Have it start with Windows automatically. And then if you don't want it going over your uh, application, so, so this is, you know, you could see it's going over the browser too. You could have it only be on your background, so that way your apps themselves will not be affected by it. It's just when you minimize it, you'll see it on your background. And so when you, when you click the X, it'll put it down on the tray there. And all you need to do is click it there, or you could right-click it, deactivate it, exit it, go to tray, bring it back up. And then also from here, you could click on exit and kill it that way. Okay, so once again, I'll put a link in the description. You could download it and try it out for yourself and have some uh, snowflakes for the winter. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.